Let's look at what we have so far. We have an exercise that says we have a sparkle. Okay, a metal sphere of radius R. This radius here will be R. That is charged. Then it is and it has a charge equals to Q. Charge is equals to Q. Then there's some space and at radius A we have another sphere the under shell that is neutral. So you said this radius a and this radius B so this means that on the inside as you said all the positive charged particles because it's positive charge will tend to work to go toward the outside and if we know that it tends to work to go toward the outside then on the outer shell all the negative charge will tend to go toward the inside And of course, the positive will tend towards to go the outer shell, outer ring of the shell, too. That was an awful plus. And the rest was too good, but that's better. Okay, so now the charge at the radius R, the surface charge, will be equal to the charge Q, because you know it's probably charge Q over 4 pi, and then the R squared are the radius of our sphere. So, so that is R. The surface charge at A must then be a negative charge, so negative Q over 4 pi A squared, because that's the radius of this circle right here. And then the surface charge at B, you a second to think about it, Pause if you need. Right, let's go ahead. It's going to be a positive charge again, because you know all the positive left over that one. 4 pi b squared, as you can see, because of course it goes in all that direction. So these are the three surface charges at three different surfaces.